Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am outside the Johnson Estate, actually around the back of it at the moment. Um, and today we are going to bring you some new content to the channel. Our very first fan cam of many. I know I promised that this has been coming for weeks and weeks, but for whatever reason it's not actually happened. So yeah, today is the day that happens. Um, obviously getting some pre-match thoughts ahead of this afternoon's big, big game uh, against QPR. Back at home for the first time since New Year's Day actually. Um, we're going to be getting Aiden on the channel. Um, it'd be good to get to speak to him, like I said, big fan of mine. And um, it'll, be, it'll be really good to speak to him. So yeah, um, I'm going to go around and meet him now. So yeah, I'll see you when we get around there. So here we have, you know, here we are. We've got Aiden here. How are you doing, mate? Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate your support. How, how's things? Uh, yeah, really good, but I'm not ready for today, though. Not ready for today. Yeah, I mean, you go into every game now feeling not so confident, do, do, you know what I mean? So it's hard to look forward to games at the moment, to be honest with you. Now, obviously, before we do get into the game, obviously, I want to touch upon, you know, the obviously the situation with the club at the moment, you know, the off the, you know, we, we know obviously the off field. To, you know, kind of situation. Um, first of all, I obviously want to touch upon, you know, what you've made of this scene so far, you know, and also, you know, the off field decision, you know, the transfer market, but, you know, the, you know, the decisions that have been made which have just completely confused me at times, to be honest with you. And of course, today, first game back at home, you know, since New Year's Day, there is going to be a bit of demonstration towards um, how the club is actually run because it really is. Rubbish, isn't it? I mean, what have you made of it all? Uh, just well, the fact this this government signing is first. But Bo Boyle, I don't know. I don't know why. Because you look at Stowe, Wigan, etc. They wouldn't have gone in for him, would they? Not really. No, but no. I think with Donny, he's come on good. Uh, yeah. He's not good at midfield, but yeah, a ho, a Um, Kasumu, I, I really like him a lot. Love him. Right, uh, especially when he's near Hog, and yeah. I don't get why they like. Why does Mark play Scott High? Comes from Rotherham, doesn't play for Rotherham, but he yeah. comes to get in team here. I don't see the point of that. But Kasumu, he's, he's worked his heart out, and you know, he's a really good sign. And really, that Bromby needs to go. Honestly, I, I cannot deal with him. Go, go for cheap option, you know, go for Danny Schofield. Why would you go for him? He's a club legend. Don't get me wrong, he's a club legend. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then you get, then you go and sack him after the win get win game. Then what do you go and do? You go and get Matt Fotheringham. I, oh, I, I listened to that first interview, right? Oh God. We all fell for it, didn't we? You know, oh, we all we did. Oh, we did. Oh, <laughs> we we did. all fell for it. Yeah. I, th I said it'd be like another Wagner or something. How wrong was I? How wrong was we all? Let's yeah. be honest. Um, but yeah, of course, you know, the situation with the off-field things at the moment, I mean, you know, where do you where do you put the blame in terms of, you know, obviously the performance at the moment, you know, how we're playing, where we are in the league, we should not be nowhere near the relegation zone, you know, if you look at last season, our squad is pretty much similar, okay, we've lost the likes of Lewis O'Brien and Toffolo, we know how big they were last season, but we've got a good group here, and if you've got a manager that can man-manage the, the team, then you're going to get the best out of them, but when you yeah. don't have an idea what you're doing, you know, it's not going to really make any difference, is it? No, 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 not really, no, but... I just... Uh, who do I blame? Like, do I blame manager? Do I blame... Uh, Bromby? Probably blame Blow, Blow, both, actually, but... I mean, the thing is, for me, I think that, to be honest with you, I think it's Bromby, really, because... Yeah, most You know, the fact that yeah. Mark Fotheringham's obviously got the job is an absolute ridiculous decision anyway. Um, well, if he loses today and he don't get sacked, I don't, I do not see why he's not sacked. Because really, we need to change it. Otherwise, if, if he's in charge, we're just going down. Aren't we? going yeah, but down. I, I go back to how bad does it actually have to get before we actually make action? Because if if the club had anything about it, they would have done that on Monday morning. Because I'm sorry, yeah, we're, we're not, would, we're getting yeah. worse. The fans are getting we worse. We are getting worse. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, but it is what it is. Obviously, there will be, you know, the stadium will be. I think I'm pretty much certain the stadium will be vocal today in terms of. You know, if there's any people in the stadium, anyway. well, yeah, we're going to say that actually because I think the attendance will definitely be, you know, a bit worse for wear today, really, with everything that's going on. I don't think, you know, a lot of people are not coming because of the situation. Um, but, you know, 
what I will say is obviously there will still be a lot and there will be a bit of you know demonstrate obviously the cow should have got some banners ready for today as well so um, yeah we're just gonna have to see but for sure yeah. for me as long as we do it respectfully and we just voice our concerns I've got no issue with that it, it, there's a line though isn't there there's a line where you, you, you know if you go over that line then I'm not for it I don't condone any any other other than just like, but anyway so obviously we talk about the tra what would you give the you know the transfer market out of 10 you know this you know in January for us Oof. Um, I go with seven and a half because seven and a half. <laughs> I, like that, I like that Thomas who we brought in a good international. Yeah. Um, yeah. That humble. I saw the I saw like the trainer for a week. He looked amazing. If he don't start today, there must be something something wrong with that because he looked good. He literally looked good. Yeah. Knockout. Yeah, he's a good. He was a good backing. You know, in this time at the championship, but you know, like. But they're gonna go back to it. We've signed Knockout. Yeah, okay, he's a great player. But yeah, but he's been in, he's injured. Yeah, he's injured. We didn't even know he was injured when he first came. But of course, then we realised he was. And obviously, he's back in contention for today. Finally, after you know weeks of, of since he last yeah. signed. So, the transfer policy is very strange in terms of signing players that are injured. To be honest with you. But yeah, he, he, not forgetting Waghorn, he doesn't have the duo, does he? No, he do, he do, he doesn't. But I've actually put him in my starting line today to be honest with you, because I think we just need to change up. We just need to mix it up a bit. We can't keep playing roads because yeah, yes, they get, they're getting too old, aren't they? Not <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. But he's doing his best, and yeah, I go back to it. Year, yeah. the, the game, is, we're just too negative the way we play at the moment, and that's why we're not seeing you know the goals that we need to stay in this division ultimately. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah. Let, obviously, let's get into the game today. Obviously, how are you feeling about today? Like, you know, what what are your feelings? You know, the day of the game. Yeah, what what? How, and and also, how do you? What kind of a game do you expect to, to, for us to see you in terms of both sides? Because if you look at the form table, both are quite struggling, aren't they? You know, obviously yeah, not yeah, winning yeah. five games. QPR okay, fourteenth at the moment, thirty-eight points. But that's because they accumulated their points. Obviously, at the start of the season, because they started very well, didn't they, under yeah, they Michael did, yeah. Beale? So, yeah, what what do you make of that? You know, you know, you know oh, yeah. I'm I'm feeling negative. Yeah, I, I think we all are actually. But um, you know, you go to that country game, we lost two 0 The goals we conceded, absolutely poor. Then you go to that old city game where we conceded a late goal. I don't. I mean, I'm I'm not blaming us. I blame the ref for that, but. Really, then you go into Luton Town game yet again. What do we do? Concede a late goal. You know, well, it, what, what is it like? One point from our last three games or something? Yeah. But if you count uh, like the two games we won, probably about seven points in it or something. But I don't know. Um, I mean, today I think I'm looking for probably nil nil. It's gonna be like a nil nil in it or something. Oh, whoever scores first. If QPR has got first, then yeah, we might as well just go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we know we're not getting back into it. But yeah. I go back to the mentality, though. I've obviously said about the whole game, obviously, that I, I don't blame the referee because if you remember in injury time, obviously, Hogg was down for quite a while. And also, if you actually look to try and kill the game off in that first half, and we, you know. Yeah, why don't we go for the second? You no, know, we've got to go for the second, yeah. haven't you? But yeah. I, I said all that game, we need second, we need second. We don't, we don't just sit back and all. Yeah, we sit back too negative and we're not going to get anywhere with this, you know, so that is why, you know, the manager, we have to take a fresh approach now, in my opinion, but um, just finally, and obviously, so you're going for a nil-nil today, score prediction-wise? Yeah, score prediction, yeah, go for a nil-nil. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I expect it to be a really scruffy game here today, because to be fair, like I say, Oh, both... if not, QPR's going to nick it, because how many times they were like, QPR's on a bad run, the players... Uh, you know, teams coming and they they win, don't they? You know. Yeah, of course, but yeah, yeah. How many yeah. times has that happened to us? Probably, I don't know. Probably a couple of times, really. Yeah, yeah, of course. And that, but if you look at the past few meetings, we've actually had quite a bit of joy over Cuba. But I don't think that played into you know part today. To be fair, I don't really look at that. But I yeah, we'll just have to see. But um, yeah, um, that is about it. We can only hope for a good result today. But I don't think we'll we'll, we'll we can't get our hopes too. We just have to see what happens. But. I don't expect it to be any different to what we've seen in previous weeks, to be honest with you. No. Um, in terms of lineups, and I forgot to mention that, who, 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 who do you think, who, who would be in your starting 11? Because obviously we've got 
obviously the chance to see our new goalkeeper. No, I'm not mentioning the name, obviously the guy that we signed I'm, afterwards. I'm but uh, Vachlich is obviously expected to start today. Obviously a great player, by the way. You know, a player that's yeah. had Champions League experience, Europa League experience. Oh, God, you mentioned actually a goalkeeper. Why, why would you go and sign another goalkeeper for? Because you're looking at training, it looked like we had enough goalkeepers. That you got that Thomas, um, you yeah. got that Bill Capic and a couple of youngsters, I think. One of them's gone out on loan, haven't they? So, but yeah. why would you sign a new goalkeeper, especially for Nottingham Forest? <laughs> again, you know I mean? yeah, I know, but again, I go back to we 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 had a good backup in Billa Kapic. We saw what he could do when he came, and of course, he's 20 years of age. He's not really ready yeah, for consistent yeah, games yet. Lad. Oh. Yeah, he's done well anti since yeah. he came in, but again, I go back. He, he's not ready for that consistent run of games. No. Yeah, he's far too, you know. And he needs loan, I think. He yeah. Needs loan. So. In terms of lineups, what, 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 how would you set out today? Would you look to change the formation or? or, or? Yeah, I'd change formation. I'll go with like a four-four-two. Yeah. I'll start that Thomas in goal. Yeah, blast. Yeah. Um, goal. Lawton, Pearson, Hillick, and Ruffles. Yeah. Then in midfield, I'll go with Holmes, Hungbo, Kasumi, and Hog. Then up front, I'll go with Rhodes and Wagon. Yeah. Or if yeah. not, I might start that Canberra. Is he Canberra? In? Yeah, Canberra. Yeah. Now I don't know if he's fit. You know, I don't know if he's fit at the moment because they would. I thought that he'd actually. Wouldn't surprise but, me. Wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, obviously Oli Turton's come back into the mix as well. Don't forget. Um, oh, he'll yeah. be back on the bench. I don't know. He can actually play left back or left wing back, whatever formation you want to play, because he he did play that in the beat. But we'll have to just see. But yeah. Um, you just see what knockout does today as well. Obviously, we're expecting to I see. I hope him. he comes on. Him. I want to see him play. Actually. I don't think he'll start, but I think we will see him at some point. But yeah, um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for coming on, Aidan. I really do appreciate Thanks, that. Yeah. No problem. It, it's been, Please subscribe it's been a to him. Subscribe. <laughs> Jeez, mate. But yeah, this has been another video. Um, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts down below. Like I said, this will be going out before the game today. Um, like I say, thank you for all your support. Like I say, 238 subscribers now. We're on the road to 300. So appreciate if you could help me out and get get us there. But yeah, who knows what will happen today? We are just anticipating another boring dull game. Nothing special. Um, but yeah, until the next time. Goodbye. Up the town.